Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. India and Argentina seems to be at advanced stages of finalizing deal for LCA teachers. On 6th of June, a delegation of HL and Indian ambassador to Argentina had a meeting with Brigadier General Xavier Isaac, Chief of Argentine Air Force and Technical Team of Argentine Air Force. The discussion was focused on cooperation in LCA Tejas and variety of helicopter programs manufactured by HL. Back in 2022, the External Affairs Minister of India, Dr. S. Jashankar, was on an official visit to Argentina from 25th to 26th August at an invitation of Minister of Foreign Affairs. In the meeting, India and Argentina reviewed their ongoing cooperation in strategic sectors of defense, nuclear energy and space and reiterated their commitment to work together for mutual benefit. It was agreed to enhance the cooperation in defense sector within a framework of MOU and defense cooperation signed in 2019. It was also agreed to explore areas for deeper cooperation for peaceful uses of nuclear energy under the agreement signed between Department of Atomic Energy DAE of India and National Atomic Energy Commission of Argentina in 2010 and 2019. Both sides expressed satisfaction on the progress of Molybdenum-99 or MO-99 facility being set up in Mumbai by Argentine company INVAP and noted that the project was nearing the commissioning state. The MO-99 is an important raw material for production of radioisotopes which is used in diagnostic nuclear medicine. With this facility, India will be one of the few countries in the world to have production capability of medical grade high specific activity MO-99 using low enriched uranium target. This will make India self-sufficient in HSA MO-99 and will also enable to export it. Both sides expressed satisfaction at close cooperation in a space through respective national agencies, for example, ISRO of India and CONAI of Argentina, who are discussing specific opportunities for collaborating in the fields of satellite data sharing, data calibration, validation experiments, establishment of cross-utilization of ground stations, space exploration, and space debris studies. Now talking about the most important defense cooperation, External Affairs Minister Dr. S. Jaisankar acknowledged Argentine interest in made in India Tejas aircraft for Argentine Air Force. He highlighted the importance of the proposal in enhancing strategic quotient of bilateral relationship. Both sides agreed to promote exchange of visits between armed forces, defense trainings and collaboration for joint production of defense related equipments. Talking about Argentine Air Force requirement, it is looking for supersonic fighter jet to replace its aging fleet of French Mirage 3 and 5 fighter jets and also US built A4 Skyhawk subsonic fighters. Argentine's Defense Ministry has set aside $664 million in its budget document to procure fighter jets for its Air Force. The competitors for the bid are JF-17 from China, MiG-29 and MiG-35 from Russia and HAL's LCA Tejas. The Argentine Air Force had been seeking to induct new supersonic fighter jets for decades but they have to face several challenges from financial condition from UK on arms company. Argentina and United Kingdom have dispute over the Falkland Island. The dispute escalated in 1982 when Argentina invaded the island precipitating the famous Falklands War. Argentina had attempted in past to buy Saab Gripen from Sweden and later F-A-50 trainer Light Fighter from South Korea but both the deals could not progress under the British pressure. Both aircraft use British equipment including ejection seat from UK-based Martin Baker. Interestingly, JF-17 jets in Pakistan Air Force and HAL Tejas also uses UK-based Martin Baker ejection seat. Tejas also use air-to-air -air refueling Pro and Quartz Radome manufactured by UK-based company Cobham. While the aircraft makers can in theory select and install new ejection seats on fighter jet, the process to test and validate the aircraft and equipment 
is time consuming and would also bump up the cost. HL might have to look for Russian alternatives for ejection seat, refueling probes and quartz radome in order to export LC Tejas to Argentina. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.